In this video, we're going to look how to create a digital game through your teacher's course. I have already created an account as a student and logged into my teacher's class using her access code that she has given me. I will click into that class. And here in the top right corner, it says create game. I can choose to have a game that only has one lock to open. I can choose to have a game with multiple locks and either choose that you can open those locks in any order or must be in a sequential order. I'm going to go with non-sequential for this example. I'm going to give my game a title. From here, I will add a description of my game. This is where you'll be able to type a description or a story that goes along with the topic and title of your game, um, an explanation for what needs to happen within a 45 minute period to save the world. I will choose what I want to happen at the end of the game once everything is done. Perhaps it's just a generic breakout EDU message. Perhaps I'm going to add a image or a GIF of celebration. Perhaps I'm going to have text that might describe where in this physical room and space I can find a key or a combination to open a tangible box or I can add a video celebration. If I want to set a timer I can, I can just click to turn this on and I can decide how long this game should take in minutes and in seconds. I will warn you, when the timer is up, the website will no longer be accessible. So any progress will be lost at the end of this timer if they did not finish. I can choose to save this as a draft and come back to it later. I can go ahead and start adding locks or I can save and exit completely. Let's add a lock. There are five different kind of lock combinations that you can use in the game and you can use them as frequently as you would like. You don't have to only use them once. You can have a text lock, a number lock, a directional lock, a shape lock, and a color lock. So now that we see the five different kinds of locks, I'm just going to choose one so we can see how to set it up. All of them are set up in a very similar fashion. So let's start with directional lock. So once I've chosen that, you will see that a lock now appears at the very top. I will provide the text that they will see with this content. And then I will decide what kind of clue I'm going to be giving them. Am I providing an image that they can click on to expand to see in larger detail? And I'm going to provide them with a text, perhaps a link that they can click on to take them to that information for the clue? Or am I going to choose to embed a video that will have the content they need to break the lock? Let's say that I am going to add text. And to solve this clue, they're going to have to go to my website. So I will add that website link in. I will select the text and add this link icon. And then I will enter the answer code. So for me, they'll have to go up, up, left, down. Notice that I can have up to five directions in this particular lock. I do not have to use them all, and I do not have to use all of the directions. I could have one direction, I could have up to five. I will save as draft. And so now my sample game is collected here and I can always return to it to continue working.